All right, good afternoon. 419, 2023. It's now 12:30 p.m. This is the second or third take. Batteries are dying on the on the uh, original Kodak, which I can't express the level of frustration with battery issues. This this is the, going to be the demise of Tesla. It's the battery issues, but I digress on that. I want to chime in on the Anheuser-Busch boycott, uh, a.k.a. the Bud Light boycott. This is way beyond boy Bud Light, way beyond. Uh, this crazy little kid, Dylan, with his mental health issues and his... <laughs> I mean, it looks like he's going to explode, not from joy, but from some sort of weird dental malfunction uh clearly the kid is not well who's his crowd on tiktok first of all tiktok is under 20 for the most part if you're middle age on tiktok what the fuck are you doing there it's a little questionable it's 20 under dylan is teenagers that's his crowd that's that's who's you know buying his condos buying his bud light and his nike sports bras teens and then the vp of anheuser-busch says we're trying to market to the young kids wait what oh you said the unspoken part out loud you're marketing to children and trying to get them drunk on bud light shame on you that's far more significant far more powerful than the sexual identity but I digress because I understand most of you are real bent out of shape about the sexual identity. Don't get me wrong. The, the kid is definitely mentally ill. Anheuser-Busch of brands of beers. And I, and I want to make it personal of why I think that we should, first of all, continue with the boycott. I'm not sure. Well, I do know why that uh, Don Jr. is saying, hey, you know, we get a lot of money. We get millions and millions. We get tens of millions of dollars from this Anheuser-Busch. Let's not boycott them now. We got to get some more checks. Wow. I mean, really, bro? Listen, my God. Just when I thought you were doing good on a call-in on Tim Pool's show, you come out and try to dump water on one of the only rare, uh, I think that's the other camera going off, the, one of these rare solidifying boycotts. It never happens, rarely happens, and it has potential to unify for the one time in all times, <laughs> unify whatever you want to term this conservative American patriot type of MAGA, even beyond whatever boxes you want to put that in. Uh, it's your choice to do the boxes. But it it's a, a very unique thing. So do not light up on the Bud Light uh, boycott. But let's frame it as Anheuser-Busch. Let me read real quick the Anheuser-Busch family, as they say on their website. And I'll drop this in on it. Um, family of brands. These guys, it's far beyond Bud Light. And it's important that we frame that this is a direct pushback on these mega multinational corporations that are consuming up our mom and pop local craft breweries. This is something I've taken in personally here in Portland for decades. Now, I'm not a beer connoisseur anymore. But I was for 20 years, and I loved craft brews. I loved the music in the breweries. I loved the fact that I could do samples of stuff that wasn't on the retail store shelves. Craft breweries like Rogue, one of my all-time favorite, Rogue Brewery, specifically down in Newport, had family there, was my getaway from the city. Um, real important to get out of the city. Whether you go to the ocean or the mountain, you better do one and do it regular. But that was my retreat, and they had, for example, they it was not popular, but I was the one guy that loved it, it was Mexicali. Spicy pepper lager beer. I believe it was lager. I don't think it was a heavy. But uh, just amazing. I mean, a pepper? And I said, why did you guys get rid of that? I said, you were the only guy that liked it. 
I said I was the only guy that liked it. I love the Mexicali, but that's just a perfect example of the magic of these craft breweries. Not to mention you can tour it and you can see how this shit is done. It's, it's powerful and it's local and it's sustainable small business. That's what Anheuser-Busch crushes. That's what these guys destroy the best, the local small business entrepreneurs. That's why I'm pissed. That's the framing we need to take. That's how we adjust this. Pull out from this crazed little psycho kid, Dylan, with his millions of TikTok followers, and he's trying to get all the kids drunk. <laughs> ah, that's fucked up. You can't deny that. But pull back from that, and let's make this uh, into small business, local entrepreneurs support. And with that boycott, we can transition into and get the moderate Dems, possibly the independents, possibly all these different. They may not come on board, but they might. And it, you reframe it into local sustainable. For example, Anheuser-Busch bought into Widmar, Widmere. Widmere, we were one, we're the, like a lot of things in Oregon. We are the pioneers here. We started. We push it, and we, we're like testing grounds for the rest of the country, and the rest of the country thinks we're just cool fucking people, because we are. Oregon kicks ass. We started, and Crafts Beer is one that we, another one that we pioneered, and they came and destroyed us. Widmere is now closed, and I'll read that one second. I'm just going to do it briefly, and I'll drop it into the uh, for you to read there's a little audio a five minute audio where somebody if you like to have people read things to you i can't personally fucking stand it but there's that audio thing there which of course does address some disabilities anheuser bush this is on their webpage dot com all right we're not making this shit up our beers you got your budweiser which i've never fucking loved. i've never been a budweiser guy but whatever that's just me. Bud Light, Kona Brewery. Kona? Kona Brewery? From Hawaii? That's an awesome brand that's been gobbled up by these some bitches. Michelob Ultra, far better than Bud Light. If you're into that, but remember, these are the guys we're boycotting. It's not just Bud Light. This is, if we're going to go, this is full out war. Stella Arto, holy crap, that's a delicious lager. Bush beer, ugh. natural light, oh. Land Shark, Presidente, Ho Garden. Who doesn't want to drink 40 ounces of a Ho Garden? Shock Top, oh, that's got an orange flavoring. Our craft partner. So these are the people that they gobble up and then close them after sucking all the revenue into a national multi-corporation and screwing us here locally. It screws us locally when they do this shit to our breweries, which they've been doing for decades here in Portland. Ten Barrel Brewery, gobbled up. Bye-bye, Anheuser. Now big boys, now boycott. Let's stand strong here. Let's not weenie out like Don Jr., because he's getting too many millions of dollars. Blue Point, Beckenridge, Cisco Breweries, Devil's Backbone, Elysian, Four Peaks Brewing, Golden Road Brewing, Goose Island. I have no idea where the goose is. Release the goose. I used to have a friend that liked a lot of goose vodka. Carbach, a mission platform, Red Hook. Who doesn't love Red Hook? Boycott. Square Mile Cider. Love cider. I used to love cider. Vesa Sir, Virtue Cider, Wicked Weed Brewery. Wicked Weed? What the? Widmere Brothers. Now, Widmere, bye-bye. They closed it. And it was a 2019, and it happened before the corona pandemic where everybody's fucking closed. And so it kind of got swept under the rug. And then Winwood Brewery. And then Beyond Beer, they got Babe. Cutwater Spirits, Highball, I've seen that, I don't think I've drank one, Neutral, Vodka Seltzer Real Juice, and then Rita's. Bye-bye. Those are the seltzers. They're way beyond Bud Light at this point. 
So get clear on the boycott and let's let's shift it. We're not we're not protecting Bud Light. We're shifting and framing the boycott into a much bigger picture of saying, hey, pay attention to what you're drinking. Pay attention to where you're drinking and support the small business. Support the micro craft breweries, not the ones that are pretending that they're a local craft brewery. Pay attention to who you patronize. This is really critical. If we can get that messaging out rather than attacking sports bras and somebody that's <laughs> that smile has got to go. Who would send millions of dollars to that smile? Bud Light. When they're trying to seduce teens and get them drunk. So right here, OPB, and I'll drop this one in, John Natriani, 2019. And he's talking about 22 years of pouring beers. Widmere, the staple pioneer staple pioneer of craft beer, not only in Portland, but Oregon, but the country. They pioneered it, the Widmere brothers. Totally gobbled up and then destroyed, and now it's closed. They closed it. That's what this article goes into. 1984 by brothers Kurt and Robert Widmere. The brewery remains in robust operation since 2008. So they're talking about it being closed. And you go all the way down at the bottom, and they do this really weird little tap dance. In 2016, the Craft Brew Alliance renegotiated a contract with Anheuser-Busch. As part of that, Anheuser-Busch was given the opportunity to buy the company outright by August 2019. Bum, bum, bum. Alwar says the Widmer brothers haven't said anything publicly about that relationship. But he adds, every year the rumor and innuendo surround that sale gets more and more pitched. <laughs> All true rumors and innuendo. It's too early to know what a change in ownership could mean for Widmere Brewery. Widmere Brothers Brewery. In the meantime, craft brew fans will have to find their favorite Widmere beers at the store or at another local bar. Probably right around the corner. Use the audio player. So that's it right there. This, this is the dangers of these continuing to shovel hundreds of billions of dollars of our money into our relaxation of you're, um, we're addressing the beers, um, which, why wouldn't you have a glass of Chardonnay from a Dundee winery? I mean, why aren't you out there supporting the local wineries? If you're going to drink, let's get smart. Get out of this lager stuff, but that's not the point. The point is, is you guys are drinking billions of dollars of this. <laughs> and now there's a boycott, and now it's flex that's been appropriate. Not the time to back down, but reframe it and reframe it on this. All right? Peace out. And, you know, can we all agree? Let's stop trying to get the teens drunk and trying to indoctrinate them that they need chemical castration chemicals. I think we can agree on at least that. Leave the children alone.